I've been getting a lot of emails lately about people um, that are just asking, like, what if what if I bought an auto key card? What do I do with it? Well, the ATF wants you to turn it in. I'm going to tell you first, uh, don't call the ATF yourself. If you decide that you have you have purchased one of these things and that you are going to call the ATF and turn it in, call your attorney and do it that way. Let your attorney know what's going on. Give it to your attorney to turn in. Don't because if you call them and say, "Hey, I want to turn this thing in," and you go hand it to them, you're now handing them what they deem to be a machine gun, and it wasn't registered. So, therefore, you're not only admitting guilt, you're handing them the evidence. Um, thankfully for me, I didn't have any. This is just it blows my mind, man. And what even blows my mind even more is like. Uh, Guns and Gadgets just put out a video and in this video you know he, he goes to John Crump's article which totally did nothing but hurt Justin um, it wasn't a drawing of a lightning link it was a drawing inspired by a lightning link there, do you see the difference in those two things one would be deemed as illegal which is what they've done the other one is artwork it's amazing the freest country today we are having a fucking conversation about a man that's facing 10 years of prison, $250,000 fine, and we don't even know this is over yet. Shit, they, everybody can be arrested that bought one of these things, for all we know. Um, about a piece of stainless steel. Literally. How many, how many lightning leaks you think could be made out of my damn truck hood if somebody wanted to do it? I mean, come on, like, where, where's that line at? It's where they say it is. It's where they deem it to be today. I, I just, I still find this, I mean, like, I, like I'm, I'm dumbfounded by it. I truly am dumbfounded by it that they did this. The people that work for those agencies have no uh, sense of morality at all. They have they don't have a moral compass. They don't have principles. None of that shit. They do what the fuck they're told to do, and then they get in their head. They have power. So, you know, it it, it just it, it just don't stop, man. It just makes no sense, and it does not stop. Where is the line? What or, or, or you know. Is a laser engraver going to be deemed a, you know, something that can readily convert a machine or a gun to a full auto? Because, of the, and here's the kicker. Even if you, if you bought a transferable lightning link today, a legal transferable lightning link, it would not just make any AR-15 a full auto. You would have to have a very specific rifle set up in a very specific way with very specific parts. There's no rifle sold over the counter today that it would make full auto. No. You'd have to have a certain low receiver, a certain bolt carrier group. And if you didn't, it would make it a, an inoperable firearm. If you just stuck a lightning link in, you know, a transferable lightning link in a, you know, a Ruger 556 sold over the counter today, it would make it inoperable. It does just the opposite of full auto. So there's more guns out there it will make not work than guns that will make work. So shouldn't it be looked at as a tool to keep firearms from working? I mean, like, come on, dude. Like, it just it's it's unbelievable that people still believe we're free today, which I can't say that, I, you know, I believed up until about a month ago we were free. So, you know, I ain't mad at them. Can't, you can't blame them. I was there once. I mean, our whole lives have been stolen from us, dude. You are free to do what you were told to do. And if you do do anything else... They will fucking put the full force of the government on your ass and they will bury you. And don't say, you know, Matt from CRS Firearms is actually like he ain't worried about it. Well, if it happens, it happens. Okay. He thinks it's all a big joke. Until he's locked up in the, in the cell and he's going to be crying, you know, sitting down there rocking back and forth, holding his damn knees, crying. Because he's been in there for a month and ain't seen his family. Like, he don't understand the, the, the seriousness in this. It's just unreal, man. I just cannot get over it. Just cannot get over it. But I'm glad it, I'm glad it happened in the sense that it helped me open my eyes to what's really going on. Uh, but I'm not glad it, that it happened to Justin, man. Like, Justin's the most liberty-loving dude in the world. You know, he never had no intent to hurt nobody. Like, it, and, and here's what kills me about it. They're putting out all these articles and shit saying all this shit. Ask Justin... Here's what he's going to say because he's said it to me a thousand times. Because I, we clown about people on you know on the internet saying that the auto key card was illegal. 
He's like, dude, it's it's it's, a, it's an art piece of art inspired by the Lightning Link. That's it. So if you draw a machine gun on a piece of you know aluminum, does it make it a fucking machine gun? I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous, man. Have a good day, guys. I'll I'll link the article down down below.